Area restaurants like the River City restaurant don't typically have to call in extra help during mid January, but this is no typical weekend. So we have a lot of tourists and especially coming more than tomorrow and Sunday too, we are expecting. I'm getting ready for them. Keokuk's annual Bald Eagle Appreciation Days is always a big hit, and tourism officials expect this year to be just as popular. I've got phone calls from uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and a lot of uh, people from the western sh uh, suburbs of Chicago and uh, Des Moines and St. Louis, so uh, it's a great draw for this area. Bald Eagle Days is one of the area's biggest tourism events with seminars, exhibits, and the chance to see literally hundreds of bald eagles in their natural habitat. In fact, a recent count found around 700 bald eagles roosting in the Keokuk area. Having the timber that's provided by the Cedar Glen Preserve on the Illinois side is one of the things that makes our area much more unique. If we don't bother the eagles, if we don't persecute them, if we don't do things things that uh, harass them, uh, they learn to adapt a little bit better and that's something we've seen over the years that they are adapting much better by being around people as long as people don't disturb them. Lock and Dam 19 is always a big draw for the birds because it keeps the river from freezing and makes fishing easier, while the bald eagles make it easy for businesses to cash in. Officials say the best time to see a bird is typically in the morning, but they say there are so many bald eagles roosting in the area right now, you can pretty much count on seeing one any time of day. Reporting in Keokuk, I'm Laura Johnson, WGEM News.